A few years ago, most of us had never heard of gluten-free food. Now it's a multi-billion dollar industry. The trend has transformed supermarket aisles and restaurant menus. But should we be worried? Chris Meldrum explains. This food's gluten-free. If it wasn't, Mark and his daughter Rebecca would become very sick very quickly. Mark and Rebecca have celiac disease. Regular breads, breakfast cereals and snack foods are all off the menu. I was quite sick all through my teenage years. Um, stomach bloating, not feeling well, um, iron deficient. Gluten is a sticky glue-like protein found in wheat and grains. People with celiac disease can't process gluten. It makes them feel unwell and can stop their body from absorbing nutrients. Rebecca's daughter Rosie was diagnosed at two because she wasn't growing properly. But not everyone who thinks they have the disease does. A lot of these other people, they feel better, that's lovely, but a gluten intolerance or a sensitivity is not a disease process as such. They make a fuss with the chef to have a gluten-free meal but then decide to have the brownie for dessert. Around one in 70 Australians have celiac disease, but most of them don't know it. As many as 80% of celiacs haven't been diagnosed. A vaccine is in the works. One is being trialled here in Perth. For now, doctors say a blood test is the best place to start. Chris Meldrum, 7 News.